So now I I would say I have become very very empowered. Mm. I would say I have also gained a lot of garnered a lot of courage to live the true life. Uh, yeah. Being able to face my family, my friends, well, yeah. my true self. You, yeah, you've come out. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's and I, I have you become left so empowered. You left the relationship. Yes, yeah. I left the, that relationship. Yeah. I've stepped yeah. out of it. I have. Wow. Um, I would say I have protected myself. I have become more decisive. I, yeah. I wasn't able to leave the relationship at all, and yeah. now I was also able to live this life. Empowered, unapologetically, yeah, uh, liberated, and uh, I see the transformation in myself. In Anita, I only see fearlessness, <laughs> courage, empowerment, confidence. Um, that made me want to be like her. Yes, after my my trip, I came back and I saw a career coach that was uh, recommended to me by a friend. So this coach told me that uh, her only area of expertise is in career coaching, mm-hmm. and she's not able to help me in my relationship, and uh, also because um, of her situation, she wasn't able to continue seeing me uh, as a coach. And I asked her to recommend me somebody that could help me specifically with my problems, mm-hmm. um, specific specifically in this power mm-hmm. in this position of disempowerment in my relationship. So mm-hmm. this coach recommended Anita to me. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, and uh, I, I went online to search uh, Anita and I found out about her. And then I, I saw some v- YouTube videos about her and I watched it and I, I felt that whatever she said resonated with me. I like her voice. I mm-hmm. like that she's speaking to me. And so I decided to contact her and be on the discovery session with her. And during the discovery session, I felt that we share many similarities, even though this is our first call. I think her own life experience um, inspired me to the fact that she has come from where she was to somebody where she is now. And I, I saw uh, hope. I saw light. And I thought, okay, why not go for it? So I'm here with Lorraine and we're going to be talking about her incredible success. So welcome Lorraine. Um, Hello darling. So Lorraine is here to talk about her success. Um, She's a teacher and and we've been working together for some months and she has come from a place where she was in a, a verbally abusive relationship, hiding a secret of being gay from her family and friends and much more and just feeling in a state of Um, anxiety, um, sad, exhausted, um, trying to manage all of this, but feeling completely trapped to be able to do anything else and disempowered. uh, um, And now this has moved to a completely different place where Lorraine will tell you herself, but in summary, she has come to a place where she's empowered and she's got inner peace. She has been able to come out with her secret uh, and for that to be received well and step out of a relationship that she never thought she could step out of and gain a level of inner peace and much more that she'll tell you about as we speak. So this is what we're going to be talking about today. So let's start, darling. Let's start. So where were you before we worked together? Where were you? What sort of things, what, what, what was life like back then? Mm-hmm. So, hi, I, I was in a relationship that was difficult, that was painful, um, that is also very verbally abusive. Yeah. So, I, I came from this situation of being very hurt, a bullet, abused, uh, and I let things be. I didn't, I try to control things, but uh, yet I find, my, I find myself... Uh, trapped in this relationship and in this vicious cycle of bully, abuse, condescending words, uh, and I, I I lost myself in this yeah. relationship. Yeah. And what was yeah. that like for you? Uh, I think it came from um, a very very difficult 
a situation where I find myself uh, having to always pander to my partner's expectations, wishes, desires, and I no longer am myself. Yeah, and I wasn't able to be very truthful about this um, whole situation because I didn't want people to judge me. Uh, not just because of my sexuality, but I also didn't want my friends to really know what was really going on and what was this, uh, the abuse that was going on. Because, because I didn't want them to have, I didn't want them to have um, a bad impression of my partner. Yeah, and I, yeah. I and I'm, I fear this judgment, this rejection from them, and I felt to, and I, I continued to feel this painful, lonely. Um, journey that I was on on my own. Yeah, yeah. So, so a lot of fear. It, it was yes on both areas around your relationship and then coming out to your family. Just a lot of fear of rejection. Yes. Yeah. What was your biggest fear about coming out to your friends and family? How long had that uh, been going on? It took me four or five years to actually tell my friends. Uh, I wasn't truthful at the very beginning because. I, I do fear judgment. Every single time that I told a friend, I was very fearful of what the outcome mm. is going to be. Uh, are they going to leave the restaurant? Uh, mm -hmm. Are they going to say no mm. to me? Yeah. Uh, but every single time, it surprised me. My friends were very accepting. Yeah. And I think the biggest fear that I have is with my family. Mm. That I... Um, my parents had some inkling about this a few years back and they told me it is not healthy, it is not normal and I shouldn't do it. Mm. Um, so I continued to hide that, 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 that aspect of me and I tell a lot of lies in order to cover up this yeah. secret that I've been holding. Yeah. So and only recently, I would say about two months ago, I was on this VIP day with um, Anita. So this was one of the things that came up during our session and I was... I would say I was encouraged and I was empowered to make the decision to tell my parents and to come out to my parents um, on that day. And I did. Yeah. Um, and what was the biggest fear you I, had around telling your, particularly your mum, right? What was the biggest right. so all along, uh, I was very fearful that my mom, my mom would commit suicide. Yeah, um, so big, big. In order to, yeah. yes, make me not do what I do. Mm. Uh, but she didn't. Uh, she still wasn't really accepting. I mean, she's in her own space trying to understand, so I, I let, let her be. Um, but things at home have been the same, I would say. Uh, she didn't kill herself. <laughs> yeah. uh, we didn't have a lot of arguments. Yeah. Uh, she, she took about a week and a half to, to calm down. Yeah, so yeah. I think all's good at home as well. Yeah, yeah. Yes. okay. Wonderful. All right. So, so what were the things you tried before that didn't work in terms of coming to this point? So obviously it takes a journey to come to this point and hire someone like me, <laughs> which is about serious transformation. <laughs> so yes. what was that for you, darling? Okay, for me, um, so ever since my partner and I took a break, I, I thought I would go on a solo trip I go for yoga sessions, for go for meditations, uh, but these all these didn't work. Uh, I, I came back from the trip, perhaps more refreshed, uh, but I'm back to the same old situation of me being helpless, being not knowing what to do about this whole relationship and myself. Mm. And I thought I needed some professional help, and uh, this professional help will be. Um, so what didn't coach. work about it? What didn't work about going on? Because I know you went on trips, yoga, meditation, and mm. things like that. That's right. Uh, what was the, uh, what, what was the problem? Mean, what wasn't working about it? What wasn't working was because I was very clueless, and I felt that on hindsight, these trips that. Um, um, gave me some time to myself however I wasn't able to get to the root of the problem mm. I wasn't able to unveil uh, or know that there are so many wounds in me that happened when I was a child mm -hmm. that continued to happen to me now in adulthood mm -hmm. so that was why I feel that going on those trips and meditation classes didn't help me because the root of the in problem the long was still term. there yeah that's right long term i guess i guess it gives you that short term 
feeling better in the moment, but yeah, not yes. in the long term. Yeah. So it was yeah. at Hawk. Uh, and what else did you try? Did you hire anyone else? Uh, so yes, after my my trip, I came back and I saw a career coach that was uh, recommended to me by a friend. So this coach told me that uh, her only area of expertise is in career coaching, mm-hmm. and she's not able to help me in my relationship, and uh, also because um, of her situation, she wasn't able to continue seeing me. Uh, as a coach and I asked her to recommend me somebody that could help me specifically with my problems mm-hmm. um, speci- specifically in this power mm-hmm. in this position of disempowerment in my relationship mm-hmm. so this coach recommended Anita to me mm-hmm. and uh, so and uh, I, I went online to search uh, Anita and found out about her and then I, I saw some vi- YouTube videos about her and I watched it and I I felt that whatever she said resonated with me. I like her voice. I mm-hmm. like that she's speaking to me. And so I decided to contact her and be on the discovery session with her. And during the discovery session, I felt that we share many similarities, even though this is our first call. I think her own life experience um, inspired me to the fact that she has come from where she was to somebody where she is now. And I, I saw uh, hope, I saw light. And I thought, okay, why not go for it? Go so for what it. Specific, and specifically happened on the discovery session, darling, that made you go, fuck, I have to hire this woman. What, what happened that you hadn't done before or what came up for you? What was that whew, moment for you? Mm. Uh, I think during the discovery session, I, um, I heard, I, I, I knew of uh, Anita's story, how, how it resonated with mine and she was she has this voice of empowerment this voice of fearlessness uh that 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 things will 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 go the way we want it to be you know as long as we are determined as long as we work through things and, and how comfortable were had. you what did you do that was different on that session um, that during that session itself she made me feel very safe uh, she made me feel that I, I could trust this coach to be my coach and uh, I wasn't hesitant at all I would say I would I wasn't even hesitant um, because the, actually from the time that I watched her videos I watched I, I told myself this is somebody that I would like to speak to I would like this person to coach me and mentor me uh, so the more I talk to her the more I like her and mm. And, the more and what was I interesting, I think, is when you said to me that you'd shared with me things you hadn't ever shared with anybody else, yeah, in that first call. That's, uh, that's right. Not your previous coach and not your friends or family. So tell me a bit more about that. How did that happen? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Are uh, you a very open person or are you a quite private person? I am a very private person. Yeah, I am open yeah. with my friends, but with people that I yeah. don't know, I am pretty yeah. private. Mm. And uh, I, I saw the career, the previous career coach, and I wasn't open about my sexuality. I was just yep. saying that I do have these problems and my relationship problems. Um, but I missed out a lot of uh, details because yeah. I, I didn't feel secure uh, mm. or open about talking about it. Mm. So during that session itself, I, I thought, okay, I need help. I like her, I feel safe, I I feel that I can really trust Anita and so I was telling her the story from day one of how things happened to Mm -hmm. until now. Yeah, and I felt very liberated having to be able to say all of these to somebody. Um, uh, Yeah, because I have nothing to hide anymore and also uh, pouring my heart out and telling her whatever is going on in my life help me as well because as a coach she needs to know my story and uh, being able to do that on this very very uh, I would say on this platform of trust uh, of um, of security yes I was able to start from last year until now so how yes, long had you had the problems you were experiencing really truthfully and honestly yeah I think this um, how many years Mm-hmm. I, I would say the 
the relationship problems perhaps start from a few years back. Yeah. Uh, right from the very beginning, I, I already saw problems that okay, I yeah. protected myself. I self soothe by letting things happen and mm -hmm. allow the bully to happen. Yeah, and I would say um, the aspect of sexuality it perhaps happened when I was in high school, but I thought it was a phase. Uh, I didn't even face up to the fact that it might be true. So I told myself, okay, it's a it's a phase. It's nothing real. So I'll like get it. out of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I was living this. Yeah. So really, this has been going on really double life. most of your life. Most of your life. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Living a double life, living a lie, uh, and feeling right. exhausted by it. Yeah. Not being able to share. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So where are you now, darling? What results did you get? What's happened? What results did I get? I think right now. So starting from where I was, I was a very clueless person, um, um, wanting very much to save my relationship and how it has um, caused me to have all these pain and trouble. Yeah. So now I, I would say I have become very, very empowered. Mm -hmm. I would say I have also gained a lot of, garnered a lot of courage to live the true life, uh, yeah. being able to face my family, my friends, well, yeah. my true self. You, yeah, you've come out. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's and I, I have you become left so empowered. You left the abusive relationship? Yes, yeah. I left the, that relationship. Yeah. I've stepped yeah. out of it. I have, wow. um, I would say I have protected myself. I have become more decisive. I, yeah. I wasn't able to leave the relationship at all. And yeah. now I was also able to live this life empowered unapologetically yeah uh, liberated and uh, I see the transformation in myself my friends have seen this transformation as well mm -hmm. and uh, I would say because of this transformation that I, that I have within me that is displayed outwardly in my behavior and in my words and my thoughts. Uh, my friend has also signed up with Anita. So that is an <laughs> yeah. amazing that's a good, that's a good Yeah, that's a good recommendation. Um, so, yes. and what was it that I did or said that really made the difference? Just in a few words, what is it that I do so differently that makes uh, the transformation so quick and so lasting for you? What is mm -hmm. that piece? What is it that really made the difference? I mean, I said, I mean, I did. What was that for you? I think it was uh, Anita's conviction um, of wanting to help and also she herself living a, a, a life that was very similar to mine. Mm -hmm. uh, that I, I saw, I would say in Anita, I only see fearlessness courage, empowerment, confidence um, that made me want to be like her. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and it's because of this epitome uh, and this mm, role model, role model in, in my life uh, that really made everything change and made me decide to, to go on the program with her to see that I also can be inspired to be like her one day. Boy, I mean, you're already there, babe. You're already there. You've already made these huge leaps and decisions. That, that's wonderful. So what would you say the Anita effect is? What's the Anita effect? <laughs> um, she, I would, she's, she will make you feel very safe. And the thing is, um, she has always been this I would say a listening year, uh, but she would want me to act on uh, um, whatever actions that she would want me to do in order to reach my goal. She wouldn't want to waste time. And I think this is something that is important because uh, what for, you know? And, yeah. and if we were determined to be on this program, then mm -hmm. this is something that I need to work with her as well. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel that she has been my saviour, yeah, in this journey. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, without her, I wouldn't be really where I am right now because I a lot of things within me has changed, and I really, really, really think that it has nothing to do with just me. Yeah, somebody got to be with me on this journey, and it was Anita all along. Oh, thank you so much, Shani. I am so, 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 so proud of you, and happy. I'm freaking fucking excited for you. It's amazing, really amazing. So that wraps up our time, darling. Thank you so much.